Insane trading card pulls. Ah, 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 oh my God! It is something that nearly everyone can appreciate. Whether you are a hardcore card collector, player, or just someone that likes awesome reactions, watching someone pull a multi-thousand dollar piece of cardboard just hits different. I made a top 10 TCG card pulls video about two years ago, and it's time to update it. Today, I will be taking you through the best pulls and reactions of all time since that video. I hope you enjoy. Before we get into the top 10, I wanted to have an honorable mention that was not actually recorded on camera, the one ring. Unfortunately, if this thing had been recorded, it would have been one of the most insane things ever because allegedly it sold for 2.6 million. When it's that high of a number, you never really know if it actually happened. We don't have the bank statements or anything, but it was an insane spectacle. Everyone was opening Lord of the Rings sets. I opened some of it just for the small chance you might pull the one of one ring. And it was a really cool time that, you know, it's kind of fizzled away now because it's been sold to one person and there's no more of them but there was some other cool like soul rings and stuff like that so this was a honorable mention if it had been pulled i think it would have been like one of the top pulls because such an expensive card people would have lost their minds it would have been a great reaction but let's go to number 10. you saw how much i shuffled these up and you've gotten some pretty crazy luck before in some box breaks so here we go come on k dragon come on another one of our frogs we got the saber beetle full salvo magnet circle level two We've got, that's definitely Raviel, right? 4,000, 4,000. Uh, <laughs> I am concerned. I am concerned. <laughs> Don't tell me it's about to happen. This is definitely Raviel. Do we have, it doesn't look like a hollow, so this might be an ultimate rare. My heart is racing. Magnet circle. Oh, <laughs> no way that's just happened. No way that's just happened. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's, the, that's definitely not the first time on YouTube, but we have definitely just pulled an ultimate rare sacred beast. <laughs> K Dragon with the ulti. Number 10 is an awesome old school Yu-Gi-Oh! GX pull, the ultimate rare Haman Lord of Striking Thunder. If, if you're not familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh!, this is one of the three sacred beasts from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and the ultimate rare version is particularly hard to pull. It's really hard to say on the actual pull rates. I think it's about one every case for an ultra ulti. I'm not gonna get into what that means, but there are four ultra ultis in the set. So one every two cases, four cases is kind of what I put. So if that's the case, and the box is around $1,500 to $2,000, to actually pull this card ranges from $36,000 to $96,000 for you to open up a bunch of Shadow of Infinity boxes and actually pull it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, okay. Not, it's not a, you know. Is that a mountain stronghold? Yes, yes. it is. Uncommon number two? Uh, not the best center, but not bad. Uh, 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 it's cool art. Come on. Another Caracas, right? No. Uh, hey, okay. Part water, okay. not bad. Okay. Is that $2? Okay. Here we go. Do the uh, honors. For all the money. It's all you, Rudy. It's all, all you, Rudy. The abyss. The abyss? abyss? Some good stuff. I want to see a horseman. Come on. Come Let's on. see a horseman. Come on. Oh. 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 Number nine, we have the Tabernacle from Magic the Gathering. This is the first Magic the Gathering appearance. This was a particularly awesome video because it involved a bunch of Magic creators together celebrating an amazing pull at the same time. I thought this was one of the best reactions on the list and there's some good ones, but it was so cool to see multiple people just freaking out. And let's get into the ratios. This Tabernacle card is about one in 121 packs to pull because there's 121 rares and legends. You get one rare per pack, about the same ratio on all of them, supposedly. So 121 packs are about $700, $800 if you're getting unweighed, which is really, really hard to do with Magic Gathering these days because it's literally 30 years old. So all the packs have been opened, searched. Uh, if you don't get a full booster box, you can't really guarantee it. So it's really, really hard to get unweighed packs. So it costs you about 121. I did times 700 because that's like conservative amount per pack. 
that's about $85,000 to pull the tabernacle. So as you can see, big time, big time pull. And FYI, stuff you see on the screen for prices is some of its estimates because all these cards are so rare, it's really hard to even find a sale of them because they either go private sale or they haven't sold in like a year or they're so expensive it just doesn't happen. So keep that in mind when you see the price. It's not like guaranteed that this card, the uh, the tabernacle is worth 12,000 and a graded 10, but there was a sale for that. Not necessarily gonna be the case for every single one. What the f is this? I've recut. All right, 56. Damn, 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 damn. 57. Oh. All right, boys, this is it. No God pack. There's 58, the last in common. Just give us something, baby. Come on. All right. This is the only card that's not revealed, and this is our rare. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Last card, quiet on set. The last card, the last rare. <sighs> Thank you guys for buying in. We will be back with more, because as I continue to say, I will not stop until we pull power, and I'll even take it further. I will not stop till we pull Lotus. Here we go. Three, two, one gorilla penis. What? 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 The what? what? Oh my god, what? Oh my god! What? At number eight, we have our first Power Nine from Magic the Gathering, the Mox Emerald pulled by Wubby on his stream, which he has been way into Magic the Gathering, so he's been opening a bunch of Magic, and he finally pulled a Power Nine card, which is absolutely insane. Even Unlimited, which is the lowest of the three, it's Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, it's still an extremely rare card and extremely expensive. There's 116 rares in Unlimited, and there's only two rares in the starter deck he opened, so you have about a one in 58 chance to actually pull it. And I think there might also be like some random island rares and stuff like that, I don't actually know how that works you have to ask some more magic expert people i'm more of a Yu-Gi-Oh guy i know a little bit about pokemon than magic's like my lowest i really appreciate it but i don't know it as well as that other stuff so because of those extra ones i think there is island rares and stuff like that i put one in 60 starters to pull a mox emerald so about a 15 percent chance to pull power nine in general because there's nine of those just throw, that's just extra info for you guys and with the starters being like 15 to 20k you may be a magic guy and you might be able to find them a little bit cheaper if you know like the right people to ask etc but if you're just a regular person out there looking for one you got to pay 15 to 20 k right now so 15 to 20k times 60 about 900,000 to 1.2 million dollars to pull this card consider that i mean it's absolutely insane if you're going with pure like price to pull the magic the gathering pulls are all at the top because the pricing is ridiculous uh, and obviously there so let's put our packs there akiza where are you kisses to you lots of kisses please give us your pack rose dragon please carl louis good luck man good luck Goes. Iron Chain Blaster, Nettles, Horse's Tail. No freaking way. It's a Synchro on the first pack. No freaking way. No freaking way, guys! No freaking way. No way. Faint. I'm gonna faint. I've done it! I've done it! I've done it! For number seven, we had another Yu-Gi-Oh poll, which you know I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. I'm a little biased. You could probably say Yu-Gi-Oh should all be at the end because it's not as popular as Pokemon, not as old as Magic, but this poll was absolutely insane. Crossroads of Chaos is one of the rarer sets in Yu-Gi-Oh because they only made first edition packs in pre-release and then tens. So they didn't make booster boxes like they normally do for like every other set. So Crossroads of Chaos and a couple other sets were like that. Inside the Crossroads of Chaos packs, you could potentially pull the Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. If it's in first ed, you gotta have, you know, the specific tens or the pre-release packs. It's one in 288 packs to pull though. Inside one of the tins that was open in this video, there's only two packs. 
So you got to open 144 tins to get the ratio. Each tin costs about $500 if you open the Black Rose tin. I think you could buy Turbo Warrior a little cheaper. I think they're sometimes in those as well. So 144 tins times $500 cost of the tin. It's about $72,000 to pull this Black Rose if you open a bunch of tents. Yu-Gi-Oh! may be the newest game, but they definitely have the most insane ratios when it comes to actually pulling the good cards. Open boosters with Bob. Yeah, <laughs> open boosters with Bob. All right. Well, I'm not gonna be able to peel this stupid thing off, so I'm also going the wrong way. There we go. Oh, we're through the looking glass. The gold looking glass. There was two versions of the sealed stuff, one with gold, one without, with the unlimited product. I can smell the nostalgia. Yes. No, that's what I just had for lunch yesterday. Oh. Yeah, it hasn't come out yet. <laughs> All right, here we go. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, spoiler. <laughs> it's not supposed to be on the front. That's different. Look, when I had the Black Lotus, I didn't see the damn card. Right. And it, it wasn't sealed like that. At number six, we have another Unlimited Power 9, which was an Unlimited Mock Sapphire. But this was a crazy one because not only was it pulled out of a starter deck, it was pulled sealed. So once it was pulled out of the starter deck, he looked and boom, there it was, Alpha Sapphire. You guys just saw it, but that's just so crazy. And he mentioned afterwards, I'm not sure 100% how accurate this is, but he said it's not supposed to be on the front. I know that it varies based on the starters, which is which, but I think the rares are usually inside the deck. So I don't know if that was an error or if that's just an unlimited thing versus beta and he got confused or whatever. So either way, it's a ridiculous pull. I think he ended up leaving that sealed, which is actually pretty interesting. I mean, there's probably zero others like that having a power nine sealed in a deck i mean maybe there is but it's probably pretty rare so this has the same exact cost as the beta i mean it's the same it's it's also a power nine it's still out of a starter 15 to 20k and there's about one in 60 so about 900k to 1.2 mil to pull that but to get it sealed in a starter like that maybe even rarer this is our halfway point we have pulled two foils so far can we pull a blue eyes white drag can we pull a secret I haven't even really talked about the secret. We've just been talking about blue eyes. One, two, three, four. Pot of Greed would be great. I mean, but we do want to foil for Ian because he hasn't gotten one yet. We have Numerico, Sogan, Mystical Sheep, Numero Dos, Triple Wire Beast, The Sandstone. So we're, what was it, like four, pack, four cards? Sandstone, okay. We have Lesser Dragoon, Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, M Warrior number one, and we have, will it be a foil? Okay, normal, normal, that's good. The blue eyes, white dragon has been pulled. Let's go. First edition, blue eyes, white dragon. Let's go. What an amazing pull for the first time. I have finally pulled a blue eyes. Oh, after many openings and Ian, Let's go! Third pack! It was in the Yammy pack! Ça peut être rien du tout, hein, mais. Oh! Oh, mon Dieu! Oh! At number five, we have yours truly. I made it onto my own video. I finally pulled the first edition Blue Eyes, which is the number one card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because Blue Eyes White Dragon, most iconic. The only place you could actually pull it that wasn't from a starter deck or a video game was from Legend of Blue Eyes, the first set ever made. So I've opened a lot of this set. I finally pulled it. On average, a Blue Eyes is about one every five boxes because there's two Ultras per box. There's 10 Ultras in the set. So it's about $15,000 a box, $75,000 to pull the card. And I wasn't the only one to pull it. As you guys saw, there was another clip. Another awesome collector actually pulled one as well. And I made a video about that. So we both pulled it within like two weeks of each other. So it was absolutely crazy. Two blue eyes pulled. I figured we could throw both pulls into the same one and it would be cool. All right. We got to end this thing right here. With something crazy. Come on. Let's make it happen. Dalton. Good luck here. There goes nothing. We got Rhyhorn. Doduo. Dodrio. Do duo, do trio. We got Pidgey. We got a Growlithe in there. Potion. Charmander. Charmeleon, please. Please, right now. If there'll be any time, it'll be right now. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Come on. Need 
Tokyo King. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The reverse. It's got to be the Charizard, right? In three, two, what? Oh my God! Oh my God! What? Oh my God! What? Oh my God! What is this happening? Oh my God! Oh my God! Dude. You don't make this up, bro. You don't make this up. Oh my God! The greatest moment of the channel's history. I might pass out. I might pass out. It's literally the greatest moment on the channel. This is literally the greatest moment on the channel. Oh my God. God, oh my God, bro! It goes for like 15 grand. Number four, this is probably my second or first favorite reaction on this video. When PokerRev pulled this Zard, it was actually the last pack of the box break. So if you don't know about Legendary Collection in Pokemon, it's basically a base set, but they made every single card in the set have a reverse firework pattern uh, hollow, which are really, really cool looking. They're super shiny, so you gotta put your sunglasses on so you don't get blinded or anything. But the Charizard is obviously the biggest card, and the reverse foil pattern only comes in Legendary Collection. So this pulls one in 110 Legendary collection packs because there's 110 cards in the set or about one in three boxes and these boxes are ridiculously priced i think the packs are around a thousand dollars if you get them loose i think the boxes are around thirty thousand. so i couldn't really find good info on it but i think it's around 30. so if you go by just the packs is about one thousand dollars hundred and ten thousand if you go by a box at 30 it's about ninety thousand to pull it i mean it's a crazy amount and as you saw like pulling in the last pack last toys is going to be our first pack up here Clifford F, come on, let's make it happen. Two packs, first edition base set. I never thought this day would come, but it, it finally did. We waited it out for three to four years. We waited it out three to four years, and finally it's happened. Here we go. We got a Dugong to start it off here. Defender, we're still searching for the Charizard. If you guys are just tuning in right now, like this would be the time to watch. We got coughing. Oh, <laughs> let's go, baby. Yo, a Red Cheeks Pikachu is like, this is so good to get out of a pack. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. The, like, because you can have a box with no Red Cheeks Pikachu. You can have just the regular Yellow Cheeks. There's a huge difference if you get the Red Cheeks Pikachu box. We lucked out super good to get that. Third Red Cheeks Pikachu, baby. We got a Red Cheeks Pikachu box. No duo. Fire energy. We got a gust of wind. Moving into the Machop. Lightning energy. Come on now. It's time we pulled in the big boy himself. Let's go, man. Yeah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. We just pulled the first edition Shadowless Charizard. Let's freaking go. We just pulled a first edition Shadowless 1999 base set Charizard right here, right now, for the first time ever. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. There's no way. And we have back-to-back -back Poker Rev. He actually pulled a first edition Charizard in the same time period since our last video as well. So first edition Charizard. The thing about first edition Charizard, it is one of the easier pulls on the set when you compare it to how hard it is to pull because you get one about one in every box, one in every box and a half of first head base set. The thing about first head base set is it actually costs you 200 to 250,000 to actually buy the box. So even if it's one per box, you gotta pay almost a quarter million dollars to actually pull it. And you can get unlucky because there's like 16 hollows, I think in the set or 15, because I think Machamp is not in the set. You pull 12 in a box usually. Sometimes you get 11, sometimes you get 13, but usually 12. So you're gonna get 80% of the hollows in a box. You can also get doubles. So sometimes you can get double Charizard. That's actually possible. So it seems like on average, you're most likely gonna get one out of a box, but you just have to play a crazy amount. It's the holy grail of Pokemon. So unless you could the illustrator, but you can't pull that. So it had to be like top three because of what it means. But in terms of actual ratios, it's not that crazy. But in terms of money, it's one of the highest on the, on the list besides magic stuff. Of course. Last pack of the video. Can we hit some last pack magic, baby, to save this video? Because remember, all it takes is one pack, one pull to save an opening, baby. Come on. Hanger gang, I need your happy thoughts. Whew. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, baby. I need these Jimmies fully rustled on this beautiful Sunday night. Switch. Pupitar. 
Come on, come on. We've had some bad luck recently with vintage. We need to start hitting fire out of these vintage openings. We have to. Hanger Gang, this is on you. Pupitar, Nidoran. <sighs> come on, gotta feel the balls, come on, come on. Feel deep down that scrum sack, just like when they first dropped. Feel that tingle, baby, come on. Shout out to my boy, Trevor. I like it, I like it. Come on. Horsey. <laughs> Come on. I need something big. I need something fire. I need to be up with something fire from this Dragon Frontiers pack. The reverse. Strength charm reverse. Come on, baby. Last pack, last card, one time for the Hanger Gang, the rare. <laughs> There's no... There's genuinely no way. There's no, there is no way. <laughs> there is no way. And number two on our list, we have another Pokemon pull, the Gold Star Charizard. This was a really epic video. There was actually a really hilarious part early on in the video where Ryan actually said Gold Star Claws, if I, cause he does a giveaway for, he's giving away all the cards. And he said, if I pull Gold Star, I'm not giving it away. And he had actually pulled a Gold Star Mewtwo before and had to give it away, which was just crazy. Which is pretty standard for the set. Come on. Get up one time, hit me with some fire in the rare. <laughs> he made up the gold star cloth just in case and then you of course the charizard is pulled so the ratios on this one i, I it was like one every two boxes so about one every 72 packs ish the ratios are always hard to be 100 sure unless they're completely listed and this set ex dragon frontiers is completely ridiculous when it comes to price the heat transcends that he opened here from 2008 i couldn't even find a sale from like the last two years the last one i found was two years ago at 900 a 10 there's only one dragon frontiers pack in here so if you're buying tens at 900 you have to do a 900 10 times by 72 packs is about $65,000 to pull this thing. And just the fact that he pulled it out of one pack is just ridiculous. Cause like a lot of these other ones are like booster boxes, starters, you get a couple chances, but one pack, I mean, that is ridiculous to pull the cart. Woo! That's, that's a big, big one. one. That's a yeah. really off center. Off center yeah. cast, though, yeah. But still, that's a beta counter spell, man. Yep, yep, I have one. And then you might jump to it. This one's got a big dent in the bottom too, though, see it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah just that one. Yeah. Swing. All right, come on, Are you Lord guys of ready? Pit. Lord of the Pit or Lotus? Let's go. You guys ready? Let's do this. I'm so excited. It's emerald. Emerald, do you think? Box Emerald. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Oh. I have, I have goosebumps. Dude, me too. I was just That just happened. I got the. I thought I was about to be able to do it. We ripped the Lotus to the head. CTC headquarters. Let's go. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> Number one had to be off the Lotus. I don't love the video. A CGC posted it, and they had this weird background music the whole time, which kind of, I, I think, takes away from the poll a little bit in terms of the reaction and stuff, because it's just, there's just so much music going on. But the poll itself is ridiculous. They opened a beta starter, which costs about $30,000, and it had alpha rares, which is something that could happen in Magic, where you open the beta starter, and everything else is beta cards, but the two rares are alpha for some reason. 
reason. I don't remember why. It was something about hand insertion or whatever. I'm not a magic expert. But instead of the beta rares, which are less valuable, you get the most valuable alpha rares. And not only that, they pull the most valuable card in magic in alpha. So insane. I mean, so with the box at 30,000, if you open one in 60 starters to get this, it costs you about $1.8 million to pull this thing. It is insane. So this had to be number one because it's the most iconic magic card. Of course, you could argue any order for these. If you're a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, magic guy, Pokemon guy, which one you like the most, which reactions best might mean the most to you, which costs the most means the most to you, what's the value. It, it really just depends on who you are. But I thought this was a pretty good top 10 list. I mean, this has all happened in the last like two years. So there's been some amazing openings and I'm sure there will be more in the future. And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Diana, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengling, and Adele Sol Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.